Today, we're visiting the world of Random Magic by Sasha Soren. In this scene, our hero, Henry, is looking for Alice. His new friend, Winnie, a young witch, takes him to the most likely place to find a lost Alice, the Lost and Found Station. I'm pretty sure something ghastly happens. Is happening, is about to happen, almost happened, is on its way to happening, or just happened, but, but didn't. Anything could happen, especially in a place where random magic is on the loose. Oh, that's the silliest bunch of grunt dog I've ever heard. But this is the Lost and Found Station, right? We're looking for an Alice. We're looking for Alice, period. There's only one I want to find. She's about so high, or um, maybe more like this. So. Look here, you young, ugly young little fella there. Can't help to find what you're looking for if you don't even know what it is. I know what it is. Yeah, sure. And Alice, um, that lot of help that is. And, and what is that you're wearing? Is that on purpose? No reason to be rude. Look, I'm in the uncivil business, job to be rude to you. Surely not this early in the morning. Look, I got a slow start and I'm just telling, trying to catch up here. What is wrong with your ears, both of you? It's bloody simple. He's lost an Alice. Have you found one? Yes or no? All right then, all right then. How tall is she? Not sure. Uh, what's her last name? Don't know. What was she last wearing? Oh, a blue dress and a pinafore. Okay, size? I have no idea. Mm, what's your name? Henry. Um, but does that help? Not at all. It doesn't even come close to helping me. Stumpy. <gasps> I'm not stumpy. <sighs> Alice A. Look in one of your little boxes. If she's not here, we'll be on our way. No, but really, I mean, it is rather urgent. If it was so urgent, you wouldn't have lost this said Alice in the first place. Am I right or am I right? Uh, well, yes, it's true, but I, um, uh, well, I have... Okay, okay, recent... when did you last see her? In a book. A book. Yeah, you see, that's why it's so important that we find her. Never mind your nonsense, a book my eye. What's the last time you spoke to Alice? Um, I haven't. I don't even know her. You don't even know her. Now, listen to me, you young so-and-so. Did you not or did you lose Alice? No, I didn't. I see, you haven't lost her, so you were having a slow morning and you decided to come here and ask me 20 stupid questions? No, she is lost. Someone else lost her. Yes, you. No, someone else. She lost someone else? No, she's the only one who was lost. Not from where I'm standing. Oh, if you don't understand. Guilty. I don't. Okay, Alice is lost. But I didn't lose her. Someone else lost her. Then what are you doing here? Well, somebody needs to find her. <sighs> Evidently. But guess who it ain't gonna be? And look, me laddo. This is the lost and found station. Not the 20 answers for the stupid questions. That's down the hall. So, you may go down that way for your 20 stupid questions. But bugger your Alice or no Alice, indeterminate size anyway, with a blue pinafore dress on, you got bigger problems walking around with this wanted. She uh, looks a little sketchy to me. <laughs> I don't understand what that has to do with it. Probably wanted for a little stupidity, I see. Hey, hey, do you want a punch in the nose? Just so what I want. Go ahead, try it on for size. <laughs> Alice, we're all out. Take a number and stand in line. Uh, but there's no one here. That's 